Thank you very much. Madam Chair, I yield the balance of my time to Representative Clyde. Thank you, Ranking Member. Um, we are here today because Democrats on this committee are bound and determined to politicize the horrible, tragic events that occurred in Uvalde, Texas. Immediately following the shooting, Democrats demanded information on the, quote, manufacture, marketing, and sale of deadly weapons used in mass shootings, end quote. Since this request on May 26 by Democrats, all of the companies which these letters were sent have been very responsive to the chair's requests, and as I understand, producing over 3,500 pages of documents. So we're here today because Democrats want to somehow blame gun manufacturers for violent crime. While Democrats did not see fit to drag auto manufacturers before this committee to blame the Waukesha Christmas Parade massacre citing car violence or SU vehicle violence for the murder of six people and the injury of 62 others in a violent criminal act, Democrats have coined the term gun violence and determined that guns, which are inanimate objects and unable to commit any crime or act of violence, should be banned. I take issue with that term, as I have never known a gun to be violent. I've known people to be violent, but never an inanimate object like a firearm. I have owned thousands of firearms in my lifetime and have never met, owned, or handled a violent gun. People are the origin of violence, and they use all sorts of tools to, perpet to, perpetuate, to perpetuate their violence. We should be holding the criminals accountable. Firearms are simply tools and can be used for good or evil by the person behind the tool. But Democrats want to blame the existence of the Second Amendment, which the Founding Fathers enshrined in the Constitution because they understood the first step toward tyranny is disarming the citizenry. They want to blame the Second Amendment for all the violence that occur in this country. Let me be clear, gun manufacturers do not cause violence, and the Second Amendment is not to blame for violence in this country. Criminals are the ones who engage in violence and who commit crime. I've been a federal firearms licensee for 30 years. And I realized early on that every firearms business, whether a manufacturer, an importer, or a dealer, is a true constitutional business. Because without them, most citizens would not be able to exercise their Second Amendment rights, which have been so vital in achieving and maintaining our freedoms for now 246 years. I believe a good model for our nation's firearms industry would be we enable individual participation in the preservation of liberty. And that, as we know, is what the Second Amendment does. It helps preserve our liberty because it allows individuals to defend themselves against unlawful aggression, whether it is defending against someone committing a crime or against the government bent on tyranny and eliminating our liberty. Since federal firearms licensees are constitutional businesses, it makes it even more imperative that the government use every tool at our disposal to protect these types of businesses so they can continue to serve law-abiding and free citizens. Governments are instituted among men as our Declaration of Independence says, that to secure these rights, the, the governments are instituted time has expired. among them, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Thank you, and I yield back. Okay.